Art of Corruption time. Yeah, let's do it. The cavern beyond the Molten Gate is adorned with black obsidian pillars inscribed with minuscule, intricate runic script that glows a soft orange. You feel the tightness in your chest. A great evil calls out to you from beyond the darkness, but you do not fear it. You are ready. Everything has come down to this. The matron sits in the center of the cavern, sprawled out lazily upon a shimmering throne carved from a single block of mithril. She rises upon seeing you and stretches out her wings. At long last, we finally meet. The matron smiles a wicked razor-toothed grin. Her hands glow bright orange as blinding spheres of magical energy begin to rise from the floor. The runes on the pillar throb and pulsate madly, seemingly without order. I really expected a worthy challenger to come forth. Instead, I got like a useless waste of flesh like you. Being completely neutral in your opinion. Wielding a weapon that doesn't even identify with you. Don't worry, I promise to make your death quick and painful. The matron lazily sweeps a hand in your direction as the spheres of magical energy coalesce into a gigantic wall of white-hot fire headed straight towards you. The matron. How many of my children have you slaughtered, monster? Goosebumps. Woo. I remember how intense this was whenever I got here in the free game. This was the like the crowning moment of the game. You know, everything building up to this. Let's get this party started. Got a lock on me, huh? Let's crushing blow that aside. Who are you to oppose me? This ends here. Has completely coated your skin in poisonous bile. I'm going to blood pact to double. Or bleed stags. Let's freeze her. And let's mana expunge. We'll rupture. And we're about to eat a, uh... No? No, we're not. None shall survive. She's knocked you back, wounding you, and is charging towards you right now. We push all of that aside. We've been doomed, which has halved our health point total. We'll restore that. Puny mortal, this is the end. You've been deeply gashed and are bleeding out. But the matron has been shattered. Look what you've done. My children will die without me. As the dust clears, you and the matron are facing one another. Both of you are bleeding heavily from numerous wounds. Your weapon is nowhere to be found. You fool! Can't you see through the Brotherhood's lies? No matter, this ends here. The matron thrusts her hands at you, palms facing outwards. You notice the pulsating orange glow of a spell charging. Your fingers discreetly wrap themselves around a dagger tucked into your boot. I'm going to enjoy this. As the matron is about to deliver the killing blow, you suddenly lunge forward. There's a sickening crunch of bone and cartilage as you ram the dagger up to the hilt into her left eye socket. No. I... There's a blinding flash of orange light, followed by a massive explosion which throws you against the pillar as the ceiling collapses in on you. You lie in darkness for what seems to be an eternity, until you feel the weight suddenly being lifted off you. The sunlight streaming down from the massive hole in the ceiling nearly blinds you. As you regain your senses, a familiar figure comes into view, 
it's your guardian, which you never ended up using during that battle. Because holy hell, you just raffle stomped the damn matron. What are you doing just lying there? Get up, you clumsy idiot. We've got a war to fight. Diane offers her hand as she picks you up from the floor. Still at war, but not for much longer. You had dealt a major blow to the forces of evil. The demonic threat remains, and there is much work to be done. Cynthia smiles weakly at you. You can tell that something troubles her, so you ask. It's nothing. I was just overseeing the ration distribution to the exiles. Cynthia pulls her cloak tightly around herself. You pry further. It's just... I didn't know demons had families. Mothers, daughters, sons. We're supposed to be the good guys, but we sent thousands of people into the wastelands with only a week's supplies. The human half of Cynthia's face appears to be on the verge of tears. You try to offer some words of encouragement, but find yourself at a loss. You remember the letter the machinist handed you earlier. We won. I have to focus on that. Things will get better now that we have peace. That's what we wanted all along, isn't it? You say nothing, but... Finally, pull out the damn letter and hand it to her. Is this for my father? Is he alright? Is he well? You nod affirmatively. I think I have to go and find him. I'm going back to Kaldora. Maybe I can help him fix things over there. The fight is not over. The matron has been put to rest, but her legion still remains. You must destroy them in order to set us free. Here. This is so that you may never be free. Have six soul shards. You have shattered the matron. You have unlocked a new set of character origins. I fucking crushed her! Good lord! <laughs> I don't remember my fight against her with Uzmok, like, being that simple at all. No, I didn't pull out the Guardian. I was never under any real threat in that fight. I trashed her. Jeez. Absolute annihilation. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, not as epic of a fight whenever you utterly obliterate the matron, but everything had still been bleeding, building up to that. And now... I'm not so sure what's going to happen with the game. In the freeware version, uh, uh, I had noted that I had wished I had stopped playing the game after I... Uh, I beat the Matron, because the game went sharply downhill from there, and not really dull. Certainly with the final fight of the game, uh, for reasons that you can unravel if you head back to that original series and take a look at it. Act 3 is complete, however, and Madar will be making his way to Act 4. Not a pansy of the Brotherhood, nor a line with the Resistance. Neutral. Without any of the faction perks from either side. You've completed a trial. Defeated the Matron in Classic or Lunatic Mode. These are the other trials. Uh, Great Uncle Midas. Take up a shit ton of gold. Nooks and Grannies. 500 obscure background events. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more to do with that stuff. The gold is what's going to come first. Although, if I uh, pursue enough matchmaking, I'd get Grandmaster rank. Level 300 with any character, though. That's a bit away.
This singular focus on vitality and strength, not very singular if it's on two different things, huh? Along with constantly upping attack, has uh, resulted in a murder machine, and I like it. It's great. I gotta turn my, uh, my headset down. I, I cranked that up for that fight. Well, we just leveled again, by the way. Hmm. Nothing says I have to use those gift boxes. Oh well. Travel to each platform and destroy the Legion Warriors. Let's have a giant cabin. We deserve that, being the incredible heroes that we are. Yeah, no. Nice try there, game. Nice try. It's like, you know you want to, and I'm like, no. No, I don't. Could have, uh, checked the premium items before I invested that money back into the tavern. Oh well. Let's go take care of it for this episode. Uh... Yeah. Act 3 is done. The Matron is done. Madar in his gyro pick. <sighs> Absolutely eviscerating her. Now we're in Act 4. And I'm curious to see how well the game plays now. Until we die or until we win. Start figuring that out next time.